The Brilliant Lions made it to the state tournament last year, but they lost by 10 to West Salem in the semifinal round. Well, they're back again this year. They faced Lakeside Lutheran, and this would be a thriller. A matchup of Mr. Basketball finalist Jeremy Lorenz, who's of the Lions going to Wofford. Levi Burkholz of the Warriors going to Citadel. Future Southern Conference rivals facing off at the Cole Center early on. Burkholz in transition, showing off the handles and scores it. Lakeside with a two-point lead late in the first half. Brilliant. On a run, Parker Brown steals it, and he's going to take it end-to-end -end for the three-point play. Lions led by four at the half. In the second, Lorenz gets going, glides by his man, lays it in. Brilliant up five, but back come the Warriors. William Miller pulls down the loose ball, dishes to Trey Lauber for the bucket. That gives them the lead. Now up one, the Lions are. Lorenz showing off his unselfishness. Bennett Olsen drains the tray, puts them up four. Final seconds, Lakeside Lutheran with a chance. Burkles doesn't get it off. The Lions defense comes up big. They hang on to win by two. Now let's head down to Madison. Sports director Brandon Kinnard joins us live with more on the Lions' big win as their biggest stars shine brightest to today, Brandon. Yeah, John, my biggest takeaway, Jeremy Lorenz is a phenomenal high school basketball player. We knew he was good. Today was another level. He played all 36 minutes, scored 25 points, grabbed 11 rebounds, and had six blocks. I will say he did have eight turnovers, but that's because Lakeside was throwing everything at him defensively. A lot of ball pressure, yet he was able to withstand that and will his team to a two-point win and on to the state championship. He's the guy that we lean on. Um, to get rebounds, to block shots, to change what they do offensively. And then he's the guy on offense that when we need a basket, we turn to. And very fortunate to have Jeremy Lorenz on brilliant basketball. Our experience last year helps us to, and they want to run in the second half, and we were able to take that time out and come back and make the right play and hit some big shots. So I think the experience and being in that moment is really what helps you just take it one play at a time and just know that they hit a shot or you turn the ball over or miss a shot, you got the next one and you just can't worry about the pass and you gotta get the next one. Up next for the Lions, a rematch with top ranked West Salem who they lost to in the state semifinals last year. And believe it or not, they're actually headed back home to Brilliant tonight. They'll go to school tomorrow, have practice at home tomorrow, and then head back for Saturday's state championship. Head coach Chad Shimmick saying he thinks that sense of normalcy will do these kids well as they get ready for the biggest game of their lives come Saturday, John.